Okay, let's move on to another topic in SAS called interpolation. If you've done anything in JavaScript with template strings, you're going to be very familiar with this. In SAS, these are the characters for interpolation. Basically, if I put this and then I put a variable inside of it, it's going to convert the variable to the value of that variable. So here I've got two variables, dollar sign $b, dollar sign $s. So $b and $s, I could put either one of them inside of here. They would be interpreted as border and side so that I could use these strings as part of either a selector or as a property value or a property name rather. So let's do an example here. Let's say that I wanted to do this. I'm going to have a selector that's a side dot side oops, side dash add. So inside my aside element on the page, if I've got something with the class side add, then I'm going to add box sizing value of border box and border width is let's say two pixels. Okay, this is what I want to create using interpolation. So this side I'm going to use to replace here and here and border I'm going to use in the value as well as in the property name. So I'm just going to comment that out. That's what we want to create. So how do we do it? Well, there's the interpolation and we want the variable s to be inside there. That's side. Put an a in front of that and then a space and then a period and then another interpolation with same variable and then a hyphen and then add. Inside of it, we're going to say box sizing is going to be equal to the variable b, dollar sign b, hyphen box, and then for the border width, well, same sort of thing, interpolation. Inside of here is the variable b, dash width, spelled correctly, of course, and that will be two pixels. So we'll save that and then we'll run it. And there it runs. Okay. So remember, this is what we're trying to generate with this. We'll open up our main.css and sure enough, there it is. A side and then the class side dash add. So the side here, the side here, both of these, we did the interpolation with the variable s and then we got border and border from the variable b. And that's interpolation. So you can use that anywhere in your, inside your code, in your CSS, in your SAS to generate more complex values or reuse values, property names, class names, anywhere you can find a little bit of efficiency for yourself, you can use this. All right, so I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.